Okay, welcome to episode two of building a Flappy Bird. So we got our background moving and now we're going to add something that we can use to be our main character. So let's just go ahead and call it our main. It's actually a bad name, let's not call it main. Let's uh, call it me, just for the heck of it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get this image. Let me get the image first this time, so do it properly. So I was looking about doing uh, Kirby. Um, a couple of things you'll notice is you've got to think about what your game is doing. So you're looking for something that's kind of the right way. So it doesn't actually matter which way it's shifted. I'm going to be changing it. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Let's pretend this one's really big. But let's just go ahead and save this image. And I'm going to call it Kirby. I'll put it in my desktop for now. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in GIMP. I want to show you how to use GIMP. So again, GIMP is free. And it's in the description of the video. But I'm going to go ahead and um, Oh, it's a little bit off the side. File, open. Let's get that image I just got. So Curse Kirby, open that up. It's a JFIF, so that's great. So anyways, you can see that the image is, so the reason it says JFIF is because I didn't actually go to the website. But since it's plenty big, that's fine. I can just use it. First thing you're going to notice is that um, it's got this white background. So I'm going to get rid of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to using GIMP. Oh, great. Now it's not responding. Oh, oh it's fine. I thought it was going to crash on me. Uh, I'm going to go to Layer, and I'm going to go to Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. Okay. Then, after you've done that, it doesn't look like I did anything, but now I can go to um, Tools, Selection Tools, Fuzzy Select, and select all that white and just delete it. Now that's my image. I want to point out that this means that the image is transparent, but it still does take up the space. So I like to get rid of as much space as possible. I want to be, so I'm going to go ahead to go to image. Uh, oh, first I got to select it. Selection tool, rectangular select. Let's see if we can just grab just the image as little excess space as possible. And this will be important when we start doing the uh, collisions. So go ahead and trim it, shave it off as much as you can. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go to Image, uh, Crop to Selection, and there we go. Now it's nice, and it's, let's see, it's 200 pixels. That's pretty big. My whole screen is only 800, so it's a pretty big, so I'm going to go ahead and scale it down. I like 50, 40 pixels tall, so we'll go ahead and go with 45. It's right in the middle. Scale that. There it is, nice and small. Now I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing. I want to face the other way, because we're going to, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Image, transform and I'm going to flip horizontally now it's facing that way okay so now I got my Kirby it's a uh, nice and 35 pixels wide oh 45 pixels tall it doesn't really matter um, and I'm gonna go ahead and export and I want to do it as PNG I'll do Kirby and this time I'm gonna go ahead and put it directly into my processing folder with the image and it's called Kirby dot PNG. Make sure you get that extension right. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and export this. Now let's go ahead and check it out. We can try to do um, me, which I called it. Let me call it Kirby since it's kind of s silly. But let me call it Kirby. So again, it doesn't matter. So, but good practices, right? So go ahead and locate it in the image folder and I called it kirby.png okay let's first see if that works okay so it found it no problem there's little Kirby by the way um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and let's just draw it and see what it looks like so we'll draw Kirby and we'll put them at 100 comma 50 so that'll be 100 pixels to the right and 50 down just as so it'll be kind of floating there. Hey, there he is. So it's actually working. Okay, so we've got Kirby on the screen. He's in our game. Looks to be a good size. It's not too big. He'll be able to float around. So now we got to make a move because obviously this is the X and the Y. So let's give it some parameters. So let's add Kirby X, Kirby Y. I'm a little lazy, so I do want to spell it out, but that's good enough. I'll know what that means. And we're going to, instead of doing it at 100, we're going to do KX and KY. All right. And in the setup, let's go ahead and set KX equal to 100 and KY equal to 50. Doesn't really matter. 
that's just where it is. So that's where I have it. So now nothing has changed, just to check the code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kx equals kx plus plus vkx. Sorry, I'm doing ky. ky equals um, ky plus vky. So what is vky? Well, that's going to be the velocity of ky, of how of gravity. We'll call it gravity. Maybe I'll just make it gravity. So I'll call it g for gravity. So instead of velocity, I'll just do ky. Okay, so what is g? So g is 0. So if I do, um, let's start g is equal to 5 for gravity. Let's see what happens if I do that. There it goes. Alright, so gravity is 5, and it's just going up by 5. It's nice and linear, which isn't actually how Flappy Bird works. So it's just going down at 5. That's just how you make something move. So let's go ahead and actually use VKX. So it's velocity KX. And this time, we're going to change the position. That KY is just the Y coordinate for Kirby. And we're just going to add its own velocity, so VKY. And we're going to let KY, or VKY, equal VKY plus G. So, uh, VKY. Let's see what happens now. Whoa! He's gone. All right, let's try just one. Slow it down. Boom. That looks pretty good. So it looks like Kirby, it doesn't look a lot different, but he starts off moving slow, and then he moves very quick. By the way, if you try to do less than this, like 0.5, it doesn't work because it's a float. I mean, it's an integer. So if you want to make this less than 1, I'll show you how to do it in another video, actually. I will definitely, but this is basically going to be the gravity variable, which is the speed of it downward acceleration. So it's a little bit weird, but what we're actually doing is we're keeping track of how fast the Kirby is going, and we're adding a constant amount. That's how gravity actually works. The thing is, is it constantly is adding to itself, so it's actually accelerating the velocity. So since we're changing the velocity each time, and we're adding the velocity to the position, this two-step process makes it to be acceleration. Okay, so now what I want to do is I actually want to change the velocity of Kirby if I click. So there's this great little mouse pressed, or I think mouse clicked, function. It's already written. So this isn't something I made up, like, but that's already written. So I don't have to declare it. When I did set BG, I had to write the code for that. There, you don't have to write the code for mouse clicked. It's constantly listening for mouse clicked. And if you click the mouse, it'll do whatever I tell it right here. So what am I going to tell it to do? I'm going to say, I'm going to set VKY equal to negative 15. Okay, you could actually choose any number, but negative, remember, is actually going up because 0 is here and positive is down. So if you set to negative 15, it'll jump up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Boing. Hey, look, if I click the mouse, he jumps up. Okay, believe it or not, that is the beginning of this um, game, and it looks pretty good for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close the video. See you on the next one.